Yes. Uh, good evening, Dr. Moini. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> good evening. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I just wanted to say, uh, can you make me the host so that you could re uh, change I'll my name? That. I'll do that. I'll do that. It's my husband login. <laughs> I will even change my virtual background. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I made it the co host. I think you can. Yeah, I will just change rename here. Uh, do we have any uh, your slides for this? Or I'll just make a plain white background. Yeah, anything, yeah. That should be okay. Nothing particular, yes. Participants, okay. So choose virtual background. <coughs> is this fine? Yeah. Oh, you want it to be blur? This is okay? This is fine. I mean, uh, this should be fine enough. Yeah. So, okay, so that's it. I'll just share my screen. You could just let me know. The voice is audible. Yes, it's all clear, Doc. All clear. Okay, I'll just share the screen. <clears throat> just keep one more minute. Yeah. Just let me know when you start. I'll just. Yes, yes. One perfect photo at the last one where we I could upload the good one at. <laughs> okay, just give me a minute.
All right. Yes. <clears throat> so, yes, good evening to everyone who's uh, joined us in uh, on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, it gives us immense pleasure to welcome Dr. Mohini Dhatlani today to our PhD 101 rendezvous session series. We have a very interesting topic today, which uh, takes in a little bit of periodontium and painting and parenting. So, as we like to put it, uh, Dr. Mohini is someone who has been, you know, venturing in her own domain and has been, you know, trying out various arenas. And especially the last couple of years of her life has been transformative. In very limited discussions, what we've had so far, um, that it really opened up a lot of opportunities. And we're very curious to know that uh, what actually makes her to what she does and uh, how does she take things forward. And I'm sure her experiences are ought to benefit a lot of students and academicians alike. We're also looking more towards the clinical skills and expertise in the educational background. So Dr. Mohini, uh, I won't take much detail and uh, you know give introduction because this is supposed to be you know sort of sharing experiences. Uh, the main idea behind having these rendezvous sessions are to throw some light upon the various aspects. And uh, as we see that, I think we are all a result of our experiences. And uh, when uh, a couple of weeks back, when I had the phone call with the uh, doctor, uh, I think uh, we did have a lot of common areas of interest. And that's really what got this started off. And I must really say that, you know, uh, we are very eager to listen to her and also to enrich, for, enrich ourselves from her experiences. So, yes, Dr. Mohini, uh, how are you and how is everything? And uh, uh, what are your first thoughts on this piece? <clears throat> yeah, I, first of all, good evening to everyone who is here on the channel listening and I especially want to thank Dr. Denzi for giving me the opportunity to share the experiences because when you share the experiences the person who is listening it also gets an idea okay so this is also this is also how it can work and these are also the opportunities to be it's just not only dentistry it's just not only getting into masters but actually the life-changing experiences make you to get into fit to all the aspects how it should go ahead. So to start with, I will just give a brief introduction about myself. So before beginning, my first slide is always to my parents because of whom what I am today here. The one uh, who made me masters, being a, and uh, that is what they feel really proud of. And second, my in-laws, this is a family where I belong to. I belong to a joint family uh, and all are very, all are educated. And they act as a backbone support to me. Many people today ask me, like, being a mother, being a dentist, how are you managing your kid, your family? And how do you travel for the, as a speaker at so many places? Right now, as I'm sitting here, uh, my I know my kid is being managed. My husband is there to take care. My in-laws are there to take care. So that is the reason I'm able to manage. So first, I really want to thank to all of them, my parents and for my in-laws, for all the support. So to begin with, I'll be covering the presentation and the following contents, the introduction, the background, what are the achievements and awards, how a typical day is like, all about parentology and terminology. I will discuss few cases and a take-home message. So to begin with, I'm Dr. Mohini Daltani. I've completed my master's in parentology and implantology from Krishna Institute of Deemed University, Karan in 2016. At the same year, I also perceived my fellowship of basic oral implantology and laser dentistry from the same university. Recently, I was very fortunate enough to complete my dream fellowship from World Clinical Laser Institute, USA, that is Associate Fellowship of Laser Dentistry. So that was my dream fellowship that I recently got it done. This is where I've passed out my BDS and MDS both from the same college, and that's also my hometown. So I could like to say I've completed my UG to PG in Karar. And this was the thing, my dream fellowship that came into picture just recently after everything got over of COVID and uh, the things were safe to travel. That is where I completed this, my fellowship. I am also a consultant at Apollo Hospital and various private clinics across Navi Mumbai. I'm the founder of Advanced Orthopedic and Dental Care. It is just almost like one and a half months we have opened up our own clinic, me and my husband. My husband is an orthopedic surgeon and a knee replacement super specialist. So this is how my clinic is. Coming up on to passion, every person has a passion that gives uh, 
uh, inner satisfaction when you really go for and for me it is painting i'm just uh, showing you a few of my paintings these are the watercolors painting that i had done few sketches i think if you are there online and uh, you could at least identify the pictures who all are there now coming up to community services why i have put this slide is like uh, when you just complete your dentistry we always i think this is the best uh, this is the part of you dr denzi right if i'm not wrong so we just don't have clinical opds and all you have outdoor camps where you have to go you have to check them up the people who can't come up to you it's you you have to travel and go and give them oral hygiene awareness lecture so surely it does not give you money but it gives you a satisfaction of something that cannot be measured in money at all uh, the smile that they we get after explaining them and under, making them understand the importance of your tooth and oral hygiene is really can't be measured at all so this is very important that you have to go and you have to conduct free dental camps you have to go and give oral hygiene awareness lectures in schools colleges in various areas where people can't reach out to you so that is very really essential to go ahead also because of covid era we could not go and have online uh, could not have the lectures as it was before so there were oral hygiene awareness lectures that had given online this was supported by dr reddy's group had given at ongc group puran coming up to few achievements i am not saying that i've got lot of things in my basket but yes i keep on doing lots of things to achieve the small steps so these are my small baby steps towards ahead so to share with you i am the brand ambassador at dental reach digital magazine also i am the associate editor of contemporary research journal of Medi uh, multidisciplinary sciences and to add with this journal image was designed by me if you can see this logo see and all this so this was designed by me i also published books of fundamental of lasers in periodontics as laser is my expertise i am really passionate about it so i published fundamental of lasers in periodontics and basics of laser in dentistry so these are the two books that i have already published i was a speaker at dental reach dental diva summit 2021 very fortunate enough to talk among with the speakers like dr ashwini padhya ma'am now coming up where i had done clinical case presentation at various platforms and had received uh, awards i received first prize for article case presentation at drdc international conference 2020 i also got first prize at global outreach medical health association 2020 recently i had won silver award at dentoscope academy 2021 now coming up to articles publication now i think in our times when i had started my dentistry it was 2007 so in from 2007 to 2012 i had not published any articles we were into ug it was just the normal curriculum but i think for today's scenario all the ug students they are asked to write articles since their third year or fourth year so i had done all my article case presentation in my pg times so these are the few articles that I had published we had to do short case uh, conduct the case studies and all on that basis we had done our publication so i was i done it in the pubmed index a study to assess and correlate osteoporosis and periodontitis in selected population of maharashtra a split mouth randomized clinical comparative study to evaluate the efficacy of gingival depigmentation procedure using scalpel technique and diode laser technique also the third is a prospective cohort study to assess and correlate the maternal periodontal status with pregnancy outcome this was my thesis topic prevalence of recurrent apthystomatitis in western population of maharashtra discomitic gingivitis a clinical sign in mucous membrane pemphigoid oral candidiasis in diabetic patient a case report then we had published uh, articles at dental reach digital magazine mouth wash the best shield of oral cavity and when everything the covid era we had come upon when it was going in hold uh, the white fungus all you need to know about so this were the few articles that i have published i still keep writing lot of articles 
because of covid we had come lot of into online mode where we had i had presented lot of online webinars i had conducted a one month series with chess academy for all the weekends and all the parental topics were discussed in detail and we used to have lot of public there the dental run group about the post second wave clinical and non clinical troubles how to deal with that then with kp's academy about endoperio lesion i was very fortunate enough to present my uh, presentation at podinar that is global summit 2021 gingival depigmentation basic and beyond dental shadowing with arushi dental club so here is where we share our uh, experiences about perio the students who are as interns or just pass out and who want to go for masters they don't understand which field to opt for because we don't have idea that in 3 years of curriculum what it all talks about so lot of dental shadowing had been done by various clubs so i had presented one at arushi dental club and this was as virtual dental shadower with us academy coming up to few awards that i've received everyone has a wish list in their uh, bucket and i was always in my ug where my mentor was dr prashant hatka sir i had visited his clinic so he had this pamdent award and then i just asked sir so which is this award they had they sir told me this is a pamdent award that is considered as a oscar in dentistry so that time it was my dream that i wish i could have one in my uh, thing always so i received budding dentist year of the award by pamdent in 2019 Also in 2019, I had received award of Emerging Speaker of the Year by Indian Health Professional Award, Aeronautist of the Year Award by Indian Dental Divas in 2020, Doctor's Excellency Award by Genesis World Record 2020, Top 100 Doctors by Doctor's Choice Award that is DCA 2020, National Winner Award by Doctor's Choice Award. and this was the award that i always had in my list that was parentist of the year by pamdent in 2021 now coming up to course conduction as i am very passionate about teaching and i really like to have teach my surgical skills to all of them so that they have add, um, addition of that pink uh, of pink knowledge to their thing so i conduct lot of online courses also and offline courses so i conducted sutures and suturing technique uh, courses with body dental platform also fundamental of flaps with them so this was the course conduction that was taken online now coming up to what actually a typical day like be is like because i'm a mom it's like you start up you get up early in the morning you have your clinical opts to go there you have parental surgeries lined up also you get on calls from apollo hospital so there is where i travel and also i have lot of online uh, webinars to be conducted i keep writing articles and you have to give your time to family and more nothing more is important than your child you have to spare time with your child so i make sure whenever what all about his sleeping hours all about his eating times i am always there with him completing my schedule and plus also have my support from family so that makes my day go quite smoother why i became a periodontist in my ug i had uh, we used to assist the pg students so when they used to do i got to know that i am very passionate about surgery so there is where i came to know that you know my love for surgery and implant is never ending so that was the reason i opted for periodontist <clears throat> coming up all about periodontology so ideally a smile is a reflection of your confidence kindness communication joy success and affection so the structure of smile is not determined only by the shape of teeth but also by the gingival harmony so ideally they say it is a small tick pink tissue but can make a very big issue if neglected so what is periodontitis it is a disease that comprised of group of inflammatory conditions of supporting tissues of teeth caused by a group of specific microorganisms resulting in progressive destruction of parental ligament and alveolar bone what are the terminologies that we frequently used are 
it's about flap so what is flap as you could see it is a section of gingiva that is surgically separated from the underlying tissue to provide visibility and access to the bone and root surface coming up to scaling scaling and root planing is also known as conventional frontal therapy it is a procedure involving the removal of your dental plaque and calculus on tooth as well as the root surface what is frena it is a membranous mucosal fold of skin or mucous membrane that supports or restricts the movement of part or your organ what is gingival depigmentation it is a parental plastic procedure where the gingival hyperpigmentation is removed by various techniques what is pocket it is defined as a pathological deepening of your gingival sulcus Coming up to recession, it is the exposure of your teeth by a pipal migration of your gingiva. Percussion is defined as invasion of your bifurcation or trifurcation of multi-rooted teeth invaded by parental disease. Now coming up to peri-implant mucositis, as you have terms called as gingivitis, that is inflammation of gums. The same applies to your implant, the inflammation of gums. that is mucosa is termed as peri implant mucositis that is called as inflammation of gums where you have no loss of your supporting bone following initial bone remodeling and it is reversible condition if you treat it early now coming up to peri implant titis as you have periodontitis for your tooth the same applies for your implant that is inflammation of your gums and bone where you have bleeding on probing you have probing depth more than 5 mm and suppuration What are the common complaints of a patient visiting to my clinic as a periodontitis? As a periodontist, just like I get a lot of patient about bleeding and inflamed gums, about bad breath and loose teeth, about the tongue tie patients and high frill attachment cases. A lot of cases for the cosmetic correction of for the that black gums or gummy smile. For yellow teeth, also is a lot of concern about the patient. and receding gums also we have a lot of patients for missing teeth where we go for the implant placement now i would like to share my few important five cases where you could just have a just about periodontology how it is and how we deal with the cases very important case was that we have a lot of common is inflammation and bleeding gums so patient was complaining of bleeding gums inflamed gums and bad breath So on examination, I found there were deep pockets, bleeding gums, and calculus. So what I planned was full mouth deep curettage under anesthesia. Curettage is something where you remove all the inflamed granulation tissue so that you get a healthy gingival provide. So this was pre-operative photograph and post-operative photograph. As you could see, the tremendous difference, the inflammation, the bleeding on probing. Everything was gone, and we had restored the perfect gingival harmony with the teeth. The next case is depigmentation of gums. So, patient was complaining of dark gums, where we, uh, on examination, we found that the biotype was thick and there was dark pigmentation of gums. So, we planned for depigmentation of gums with diode laser unit. We can also do depigmentation with your scalpel. We could do it with your electrocautery. We could do with many other with burrs also. But patient wanted to opt for laser as it is bloodless and convenient. So, we went for. deep pigmentation of gums with diode laser unit at 980 nanometer wavelength so this is how it looked post operatively there was no bleeding around after the surgery and this is how it looks pre operatively and post operatively so this were black gums and now here we don't have any black gums issue the next common case that we receive is missing teeth so the treatment plan was to have implant placement of 36 and 37 region so this is what we do we do flap reflection once the flap reflection is done osteotomy is prepared with all the drills and implant is placed so this is how it looks in our region after that the gingival former is done after 3 months abutment trial is done and finally the process is is given so this is the surgical steps for your implant placement This is how it looks preoperatively and postoperatively. You restore the functional processes for the chipping. 
Coming up to the next case is endoperio lesion. As you could see in this diagram, the patient complained of pain and swelling in lower right back to lesion. So on examination, I found there was a decayed tooth as well as we had a deep pocket with forces. So what we planned was root canal treatment followed by open flap debridement. So whenever we have an endoperio lesion, we make sure the endo part is first treated so that whatever the inflammation is there, it could subside by in endo. And finally, we go for the parental treatment. So this is how it was. We first completed the root canal. The inflammation subsided. And finally, we opened up the flap and we did the deep curettage. In this case, we could also had we could also do bone grafting and PRF membrane placement. So this is how it was pre-operative and post-operatively. As you could see, this is the lateral view where you had a lot of inflammation. The inflammation completely subsided. We also gave them the prosthesis as you could see here. So this is how the endoperio lesion was treated. Coming up to the last case, that is perimplantitis. After implant placement, because of a lot of pre-operative evaluation, if you lack a lot of things, you could have post-operative complications. So this was post-operative complication landed up because we did not have proper pre-operative checkup. That is, in this case, there was a high frail attachment also. That was also the reason for causing this exposure of your implant threads. So we planned for laser decontamination and connective tissue graft placement with 2-1 region. So once the full thickness flap was raised, complete laser decontamination was done. Connective tissue graft was obtained from the palate that is placed at the recipient site and the sutures were placed. This is how it looked post-operatively. Here, as you could see, the threads are exposed. Here, the threads are not exposed. At the same time, we have relieved the hyphen attachment plus the tissue biotype has got thickened up. So these are the common cases as a periodontist we treat up. Now, coming up to the advice for dental students, I believe there are five keys to success. You have to be ambitious. You have to be always focused, dedicated, and hard work. But even if you have all these four qualities and you don't have the last one, that is consistency, this all may fail. So consistency is the key to success. Everyone does a hard work, but if you're not keeping that consistency, you will surely not reach to the top. So whatever it is, always have that goal that, okay, I have to achieve this. Make resolutions at the, at the start of every year. Okay, so those are my resolutions that I have to do. Make sure that you make 10 resolutions per year and at least try to achieve eight at the end of the year at least. So that is how always I do. Every 1st January of the starting year, I write up my resolutions, minimum 10, of which I make sure whatever it is, I keep seeing that every day. And at least I've achieved at least seven to eight at the end of the year. So that is how I always deal with myself, with my, amb uh, with my ambitions and goals. I would like to say that success is all about like an iceberg illusion. What everyone sees is, you know, like, okay, wow, this is how it is looking. She has got so many awards. She has returned up, returned up books. She's writing articles and all. But what someone is not seeing is the dedication, the hard work the persistency, you have a lot of sacrifice also in between, that is good. So make sure you have to have a lot of hard work, dedication, focus, and consistency to reach to the success height. Advice for future dentists, if you have completed your dentistry, I would advise few points to always take care that I had followed. Always make sure that you learn from the dentist in your town. So once you check up, once you complete your dentistry, Check for the Google highly rated clinics once where they've received a lot of reviews. You have a lot of your patients to know. Go join there, give your interviews, and make sure you do a lot of observation. Even while observing, you learn a lot. Once they are confident about you, they will make sure that you they even allow you to do the cases. Visit clinics, give your resume, connect with a lot of dentists on social media. Social media, if you consider, is really a blessing. You could connect with lot of dentists all over the world. Start sharing your cases, put watermark if you could be, and share because you get a lot of comments also. And in that comments also, we get to learn a lot. You know, you could put at the end, okay, comments and criticisms are well, uh, always welcome. So that is how even you learn there. 
you could join you have lot of ida everywhere I, indian dental association group is everywhere they conduct lot of courses and um, lectures once in 3 months or once in 2 months very could go you could attend lectures also plus you could get connected with lot of dentists in your areas that really helps you a lot always keep upgrading your knowledge because just doing dentistry is nothing like you know it's completed after doing masters it's completed no always keep learning have the thirst of learn and hunger in yourself because there is lot to learn and explore keep attending conferences keep doing courses what you still like like i always had to dream about that laser fellowship from wcli i finally did that always keep doing some extra curricular activities you know like start writing articles do webinar presentations you could also write a book that really helps to upgrade your knowledge so this is the advice i would like to personally give to all those who are a dentist already now uh, i want to add few slide about life changing experiences the first life changing experiences was one when i had completed my masters in 2016 In two thousand twelve, after completing BDS, you are very well exposed to your general dentistry. But once you complete masters in one specific field, you get little hand off from the general dentistry. So once you completed, I was like, okay, I'm very happy. I've completed masters, but now if I have to join a clinic, what about my general dentistry? It's not that you forget off, but the touch goes off. So after that, also I had joined a prosthodontist clinic. after completing my pg so where i could also learn lot of prosthodontic point and also i started doing general dentistry because you have to have that touch always with you so after doing that for one year in 2016 i completed my masters i joined a prosthodontist clinic with my sir i got lot of exposure under him from prosthodontic point of view plus i also practiced general dentistry in 2017 i got married and i had shifted to hyderabad for one year as my husband had to do knee replacement fellowship so in that period i worked with an oral surgeon where i got the exposure from the oral surgeon aspect of you i used to handle his clinic where there were three dental chairs so that is how i also got to learn lot from that oral surgeon so the lot of various places i had to travel with my husband also made me to upgrade my knowledge in 2019 where i came up back to mumbai i got a position to join at apollo hospital as a consultant and various private clinics across navi mumbai so in this due course of time i would like to say that i had um, got pregnant and in that period i was doing my consultation i used to, i had attachment with evening clinics where i used to purely practice perio and in morning session i used to keep two hours for my general dentistry at one clinic and on call surgery so this is how all i managed in 2020 i was a mother in feb and march it was very hard to digest that covid came up where everyone was at home all the practices were on hold there was hardly any patients coming up to dentistry only online consultations had started so after taking break of 6 months after being mother in 2020 feb i could not go to clinic because i can't keep my baby on rest so i decided okay fine the clinics are not going on online consultations are there so i started doing that i started presenting a lot of online webinars i made sure that i will not waste any of my time i used to make sure that each every time that i am passing through i'm going to learn i'm going to make others learn and upgrade also as well as at the same time teach also after once the everything covid got on hold in 2020 at the year end i was a perio mentor at kps academy mumbai after this year i completed my associate fellowship in laser dentistry as i mentioned you earlier so this was a very life changing experience despite learning lasers from my college there was something upgradation that i could learn from this fellowship that really added a lot to my clinical experience and now recently the life changing experience the biggest one is when you have your own clinic and that also that you have to manage all on yourself there is lot of difference when you are as a consultant and when you have your own clinic right now also i do consultations plus i have my own clinic so that's a very big responsibility to your bucket but yes i was very happy and this is how it has changed my life a lot 
also recently i was invited as a perio speaker at academy of advanced aeronautics bangalore where i was called to uh, teach them all the surgery aspect of perio now take home message this is the last uh, thing that i'll be sharing with you all just a short story as you could consider i basically believe there are two types of people in this world one is the one who will cry in every situation and the other one is opportunity in every situation so first try to find out in which do you fall are you the one you are trying to find opportunity in every situation or you want you keep on crying for all in every situation i believe unsuccessful people are the one who keep all the failure blocks on their head and the successful people are one who will use that block as the success steps to go ahead so never be disheartened if you have had any kind of failures in your path use them as a success steps to climb up don't dishearten yourself because failure is also to the key to the success if you take it positively make sure you always focus on the solution and not the problem always remember there are no shortcuts to success hard work is essential you have to cross the road with all the hurdles every success story starts with a dream so make sure that you dream before you have to dream before your dreams can come true so you have to dream and then that is how that will come into picture for that you need to believe in yourself don't say i wish say i will make sure the success stands for to you see your goal understand the obstacles create a positive mental picture clear your minds of your self doubt embrace the challenge stay on track show the world that you can do it more than to show to the world it's you you have to prove yourself that yes you have come into this world and you are doing something different from amongst the other failure is not the opposite of success i believe it is the part of success that makes you to receive higher and higher steps so just if you have any kind of failure i believe just take a leap of faith and just jump and success will be all yours always make sure unlock your potential every person on this earth has been gifted with special special gifts by your god so make sure you unlock them utilize them that will help you a lot in your future the first step is always the hardest once you cross that obstacle and you start climbing the things go smoother so to have success start think analyze plan try try doing it keep going and success will be all yours so as to end i would like to say dream big stay positive work hard and enjoy the journey so winner is the one winner is a dreamer who never gives up thank you everyone for patience hearing i don't have any audience where i could interact um but i want to really thank to all of them who are listening to me and especially dr denzi who has given opportunity to share my experiences these are my ids if anyone wants to connect with me regarding perio or the courses that they need any kind of help i'm always there yeah thank you all right so quite a journey in the doc i mean uh, i must say you know from your uh, time back in college and then uh, the transformative experiences uh, followed uh, by the various situations which have uh, brought out all these uh, especially that time in, you know when we all faced with the adversity called covid like, yeah. uh, i think what what's really important here is what we make out of ourselves uh, it's, it's all uh, they say right the, the entire world rests between your ears so once it it's there between your ears i think it's how we build on it and how we make it happen so that is truly uh, you know remarkable and i must say it's it's, it's a really inspiring journey of uh, uh, of so many achievements uh, so far and uh, just want to add a point that you know uh, we happen to be contemporaries uh, from the same batch uh, 2007 is when i started my dentistry 2000 16 is when i finished my pg so uh, it's it's really commendable you know in a matter thank of you, uh, thank you so uh, so and and this is the reason why doctor we wanted to have uh, such stories you know uh, not not someone who would tell stories which the present generation cannot relate to what is important is they need to hear from from seniors or from uh, teachers who are uh, you know slightly uh, elder to them and uh, would probably give more relatable experiences and tell them the mantras of how the world functions 
and like like through your examples i think that clearly uh, reflects that uh, uh, the never say die attitude that you always wanted uh, to have things up your sleeve um, and you held on to your passions very dearly you know be it the yes. uh, fellowship at lasers or be it holding perio close to your heart or also you know putting in forth for articles and publications uh, the idea is is to maximize the human potential behind all of these things and and that in, in indeed what makes it really spectacular and a phenomenal so yeah. thank you so much i think that was really really uh, helpful i think uh, uh, you shall receive a lot of queries because i i'll do pass on your uh, sure. id sure. details sure. to our student sure. groups so we shall be uh, getting in touch more frequently and uh, hopefully yes we would uh, also work together for uh, maybe courses alike and and uh, sure. opportunities in future as well Surely, surely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Dr. Moini, once again for doing this. Uh, truly, I think uh, this is what uh, we've built the session for, and we're so happy that we could have had we had you and and share your experiences. Uh, definitely, like I said, uh, it's all about inspiring and galvanizing and uh, inculcating uh, the best for all of us. And we need thank stars you. from the field of dentistry, and and that's the reason why. uh we were doing this so thank you so much again once again thank you so much and uh please do let us know how sure. we can help you forward and definitely uh to all our viewers watching this again most of them students are mm -hmm. busy with the examinations so that's the reason we we're going to put this up on youtube as well so they'll always go back and and look in into the details and you'll be getting back a lot of queries in in that regard as well so sure sure thank you so thank much thank you thank you and uh, regards to everybody there at home uh, to uh, your husband and and child and in laws and <laughs> the whole family circle right so yeah. please to convey our regards from from all of us here to all of us there yeah, yeah. thank you thank you so much thank you doc thank you so much goodbye uh, see you again then uh, so that's a wrap today on phd rendezvous session series so we'll see you all soon very uh quickly at the next academic session on wednesdays as usual and rendezvous sessions where we'll meet yet another interesting personality like uh dr moini we had today uh, who will be sharing more experiences so looking forward to learning and evolving all of you uh, please stay safe and make the most of it thank you so much goodbye everyone good night yeah.